What's up guys, Jeff from Worldwide Cyclery, and today I wanted to talk about a really cool little gadget, the Cork Shockwiz. So if you've ever had trouble tuning your suspension or just learning about how your suspension works in general, this product might be for you. Let's talk about it. So the Cork Shockwiz, it's a pretty simple little device. There's a coin cell battery in here and you pretty much never need to replace it. We've been using this one now for I think three or four months and the battery is still totally fine on it. What this thing does is you actually connect it to your shock or your fork and they have to be an air shock or an air fork. So if you're running coil suspension, this won't work for you, but most higher end mountain bikes these days are running air springs um, front and back and that's what this is for. So this little thing connects to your fork or shock and you zip tie it on, uh, you sync it to an app on your phone and you go for a ride and then it gives you these analytics back. It gives you all these different things that it found while you were riding and suggestions of what might you want to do with your rebound, with your compression, with your air pressure, uh, if you're bottoming out too much, all of that data. It's really cool. So part of why this thing is so cool is it does help you learn things like what rebound is, what high speed compression is, what low speed compression is. It sort of teaches you that stuff if you don't already know it and it does it in a really fun and easy fashion. Um, we've been selling this product a lot. It's been super popular. We've all been using it ourselves at the shop. This one's got passed around between a ton of the staff here for us to play with and actually use and, and test ourselves. So we will uh, cut to a clip right now that shows you the setup on this thing and how it all works so you can see how it, um, how it works, how it gives you the data, how you set it up, and then uh, you guys can go from there and check this thing out into more detail. There will be a link below in the description that goes to a blog post that has sort of a, a ton of other links, you know, a bunch of information that we'll give you on it, and then a bunch of information that Cork has on it uh, themselves that sort of explains the product more in depth. So let's cut to that video of how to set this thing up. So to install the product is actually fairly simple. In the box, it gives you a couple little connection pieces that have a Schrader valve on either end. And obviously one of those Schrader valves connects to your shock or fork air valve and the other one connects to um, either one of the ones on the Shockwiz. And the actual body of the Shockwiz itself has got a bunch of slots in all of the rubber around it. So you can put zip ties anywhere you need. Just make sure when you're connecting this thing to a shock or a fork, it's not gonna hit anything. So for example, when your bike bottoms out, you don't want it to run into itself. Or if your fork, you know, you turn the bars too far, you don't want it to uh, run into your frame or anything soon. So just be careful when you're setting it up, but pretty simple to install, connect the two Schrader valves and zip tie it up. Now that you've got it connected to your bike, it's pretty easy to get this thing connected to Bluetooth, just like setting up any Bluetooth speaker to your phone once you've got the app. Um, you just connect it, pretty simple. The app makes it really easy to use. And from there, you go to the calibration wizard. And the calibration wizard is pretty important because it is gonna walk you through step-by-step step of how to actually uh, sort of tune and teach the ShockWiz um, everything about what it's connected to, whether it be a fork or a shock. And it needs to know, you know, the travel of the bike, the different, the air volume in the shock, etc. And um, you can actually input that manually if you know some of that information, but you probably don't, and there's probably no way to easy way to find it out. So just go right through the calibration wizard, and it walks you through step by step of how to do everything that you need to do right there. Um, once you are done with the calibration wizard, it's going to take you back to the home screen, and from there, you're going to tap on start new session, and that's when you're going to go out and ride your bike. Um, you want to ride for you know at least an hour if not more so it's going to give you a little rating of confidence and what that means is confidence in how much it knows about your shock and your riding and you know that way it can give you proper suggestions so you want that confidence to say 100 percent. and when it says 100 percent, that means that you've ridden the bike enough with the shock was on for it to really learn uh, your bike, your fork or your shock, and your riding style so it can give relevant suggestions. So get out there, ride for at least over an hour, probably two or three hours would be better. Obviously you can do it at different times. You just want to aim to get that confidence at 100%.
Now that you've got some ride time on it and you've got that confidence score to a hundred percent, you can hop back into the app and probably the first thing you're going to want to play with is the tuning style. So the tuning style, again, suspension is very personal preference, but hopefully you have some idea of what you want your bike to feel like, whether it be softest, soft, neutral, firm, firmest. And then as far as liveliness goes, um, you know, they classify it as planted, poppy, and active. And those are pretty descriptive terms to begin with. Um, but if, you know, you're a little confused on there, probably your easiest thing to do is do neutral and planted. And that's going to change depending on your skill level. So um, a more novice rider that's riding a bit slower is going to want a bit softer suspension and want it planted so it's nice and in control. Um, whereas someone who's riding much faster, a more experienced, experienced rider or pro rider is going to want firm or firmest and probably a little bit poppy and active as far as the setting goes. So if you go in and you change the tuning styles, it's then going to change all of your um, basically your suggestions based on that and given what you've ridden with the thing so far. So once you've dialed in your tuning style, you can tap on suggestions at the bottom and then you can see that it's going to give you um, a bunch of suggestions as far as your baseline air pressure, your air spring ramp, low speed rebound, high speed rebound, high speed compression and low speed compression. Now, depending on what fork or shock you have this hooked up to, you might not have separate low speed and high speed rebound or separate high speed compression and low speed compression. So you're just going to have to go, you know, from there with what you you have as far as tunability on your actual fork or shock. The most important things though really are going to be um, your, your overall, your baseline air pressure. You don't want your uh, suspension to be too soft and you don't want it to be too firm given the what you're looking for um, and then the air spring ramp as well so it's going to want it's going to give you suggestions on air spring ramp if for example it notices that your uh, baseline air pressure is good but you happen to be bottoming out maybe you want to add some volume spacers to your fork or shock to prevent more bottom outs you can always hop back into the home screen and change your tuning style and you can watch how that affects your shock tuning score. So the shock tuning score is basically how good it thinks your current setup is for your bike. And that's going to depend um, based on your tuning style. And each time you change that tuning style, again, when you go back to the suggestions, it kind of gives you suggestions on how to reach the uh, perfect amount there. And then you can go to detections as well. And it gives you some other cool, fun information to look at, as well as the statistics. Um, more or less, once you get your tuning style down, your goal there is to get that shock tuning score to 100. So ride your bike a lot, get the confidence to 100% in the app, um, follow these suggestions and then continue riding it again and again. And the goal is to get your tuning style dialed in and then get that shock tuning score to 100. And then obviously you're going to have 100% confidence there as well. And once you're there, that's basically the um, best setup given the tuning style that the shock Wiz is going to recommend for you. So if all of what you just saw seems like it's worth 329 bucks, uh, that's how much these things are. We think they're worth the price. It is really dependent on who you are, how much you already know about suspension. Um, and if you just like playing around with cool electronics and, and looking at data regarding your suspension setup and sort of learning and getting more in depth into that process. It is something that you could probably go in with five of your buddies and split the cost of it and all you guys could use it. It's something we've considered renting. We just haven't quite figured out how to do that just yet. Got any ideas? Hit us in the comments. Uh, let us know, have you guys used one of these? Are you considering purchasing one? Do you feel confident in your suspension setup and knowledge right now? Or do you feel like this might really help you and be a product that um, could sort of revolutionize your ride if you got your suspension more dialed in? Hit us in the comments, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one.